What's up guys? This is Fab and welcome back to my channel. Now for this video, I will make a walkthrough tutorial for the application form for HelloReach. Now if you're interested in knowing that, then keep on watching. Hey, what's up guys? This is Fab, your fabulous healthcare virtual assistant. And today I would be making a walkthrough tutorial on how to properly accomplish your application form for HelloReach. I would also share my experiences, my advice, and um, hopefully would answer a lot of questions that I have received throughout my other videos. And if also, if you have more questions, you could just comment down in the comment section below. I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any future video like this. Okay, so we will now go to the HelloRage.com um, website. So go to HelloRage.com. So if you want to learn more about the company, you can just scroll it here or just watch my other videos. I will link it up here or in the description box. So to apply, just click this page and it depends if you want to apply as a healthcare virtual assistant or a veterinary um, healthcare virtual assistant or dental healthcare virtual assistant. So, um, Hellrich expanded to more, like more specific um, virtual assistant services. So, if you want to be a vet or a dental HVA, I think this will redirect you to a different form. But uh, for now, we're gonna go to the healthcare virtual assistant application form. Um, so again, more information that I have tackled on other videos. Um, let's go to the apply now page. Okay, so um, again, I've already discussed this with my previous videos. Of so if you are um, interested, again, all the links will be in the description box. Um, so these are the general requirements. You need to be a graduate of any allied healthcare profession. Um, I am a nurse. Uh, most of the healthcare virtual assistants are, are nurses, but I have batchmates from that are pharmacists, occupational and physical therapists. We also have medical transcriptionists. So yeah, different walks of life. Um, but as long as you are proficient with healthcare me or medical terminologies and practices, I think you can apply to HelloRage. Um, you also need to speak and write well in English since we are a US-based company and most of the clients and the patients will be Americans or English-speaking communities. Internet speed must be at least 10 Mbps download and at least 3 Mbps upload, so I will be giving more information about that later on. Have a reliable computer hardware and software, which will be verified by our tech team. Have webcam, headset, and a nice, quiet working environment and a neutral background and lighting. So, um, like my workspace right now, I have a solid wall. Um, someone asked what the paint is. I don't really know. It's besides, like pink. So, for us to look more um, appropriate, professional, and so there's no distraction. And um, yeah. And be able to work at night, 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. That's 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Arizona time. Because um, that's when the training will happen. So the minimum and recommended system requirements. So we're talking about the laptop or PC that you will be using in training and in working with the clients. So the minimum for operating system is Windows 10. It should be genuine. So recently I've build a PC and um, they said that it's gonna be Windows 10 forever according to them um, it's just that they will be updating it updating yearly I think so I think that's the last of the Windows series um, as per my understanding okay so it's good to invest in a lifetime genuine copy of the Windows 10 um, I, ha I think there are laptops that already have a built-in Windows 10 when you buy them. So, and unless you are building a PC, I think it's already um, included also. 
So for the CPU and the memory, it will really affect your working space, how smooth your working process would be, how many applications you can use at the same time. So at, it should be at least i3, but I recommend to have the i5, 8th gen and above, or AMD equivalent. Um, my Huawei D15 is Ryzen 5, at least, I, I think. So yeah, I, I, can, I have no complaints with the Ryzen 5 CPU. So, and it should have at least 6 gig, but I recommend you to have an 8 gig RAM or higher because, again, um, that will make you use um, applications faster and smoother and, uh, you know, you will not be stressed about um, your computer lagging or um, some applications will be very slow. So, um, my Huawei D15 is also 8 gig of RAM. Uh, this is not upgradable anymore, so if you can, you can go for 12 or 16. But 8 gig is really um, okay. That that's what I'm using, and I don't have any complaints about it. And lastly, the internet subscription speed at least 10 Mbps, and it should be the DSL or fiber only. Um, LET connections is not acceptable anymore, so can't use mobile data. You can use it as a backup but as your main subscription or your main internet connection should be DSL or fiber. And then the peripherals needed, I believe I have reviews on these two products. So for the headset, they recommended Plantronics Audio 6 to 8 stereo USB headset. Um, but yeah, I got that one. If you want a full review and unboxing, I have that video. I'll post it here or in the description box. Um, you will know why I like that specific headset. and um, you, But you can also use other headsets. As long as it, you can hear them clearly. And uh, it would be great if it has um, noise cancelling features. Because that's why I bought the Plumtronics Audio 628. And... I'm very sensitive with the ears, so I like the padded one. That's why I got the Plantronics Audio. But and also for the webcam, they previously they recommended the Logitech C920. I got the C922. I also have a review about that. I'll post it here. Um, but now they change it to A4 Tech PK910. But I think it would um, suffice. So not really. I use this camera for like streaming, so this is um, kind of like HD, but I, based on my experience, you don't really need a 1080p um, webcam. So, you know, I bought this because I have plans of using it like in my YouTube videos and my streaming. But if you, you're not gonna do that, I suggest you go with the recommended A4 Tech or any video, actually, any webcam that can show, show a clear image and even if you have nice webcam but you don't have the proper lighting, um, it will greatly affect the image. So, yeah, as long as you have a nice webcam and your your lighting is okay, I think it will make do. So here are the benefits, and now let's go to and apply for this job. Okay, so for the personal information, first name, last name, email. Um, headline, I didn't do anything for that. I didn't put anything for that. So your phone number, your address, photo. Um, use a one by one. Like I submitted just a one by one photo. Uh, for your profile, education and experience, uh, I added my um, diploma and TOR. And then for the experience, I have previous um, certificate of employment, so I had, I attached this to my application. And for the summary, I just um, explained it in detail, like um, this is my educational background and my, what do you call this, um, work experience, and that's what I did for the summary. Now for the resume, just you can upload a file the re the accepted files or pdfs and docs um if you want, also want i can do a separate tutorial about how to create a creative resume 
um, what to put in a resume. If you want that, you can just comment in the comment section below. Okay, so for the details for the cover letter, I put my actual cover letters. I don't know if this needs, so just put the date. The, the the date that you would be applying uh, to whom it may concern i am writing this letter to apply for the healthcare virtual assistant position in hellrich as requested i enclose a complete job application my certification resume and my references okay i believe that my experience and education make me a competent competitive candidate for this position with my bachelor of science degree in nursing i have comprehensive understanding of medical technologies and practices i have worked as a research assistant and taught me excellent administration skills administration skills and time management and um, a cat lab nurse um, which developed my critical thinking and decision making skills i can be reached via email and by a cell phone and thank you for the time and consideration. I look forward to speaking with you about this employment. Respectfully, Fabetler Bilagas RN. Okay. So my advice is that if you need to explain anything, you could put it in the cover letter. Um, I don't know about your NBI or diplomas, problems about your diplomas, etc. Um, then what's your Skype ID? You could go here in Skype and then go here. Notice the three dots here. Go to setting and then you can see your Skype name. Skype name here. Copy and paste it here. And then for your Facebook profile link, go to your Facebook. And then just copy paste the URL in the address. All right. So are you located in the Philippines and are a PH citizen? So um, this job is exclusive for Filipino nurses. So if you have dual citizenship or you're not in the Philippines, you cannot apply. Um, then you give the address um, where you are located in the Philippines. What are your skills? Just this your hard skills and your soft skills. Um, please state any other foreign language abilities, if any, I just put English. Um, for what reasons you have missed work in a previous job, uh, depends on you, but I, I usually miss work because I'm sick, so yeah, sick leaves. On our trainings, our trainings are from Monday through Friday's night shift pH time. Will we be able to attend this, yes or no? So this is something big, something that you should really consider before applying. It's usually 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. for your training. Um, but if you have your client, um, it will depend what state your client is. All right, do you have any existing health conditions? If yes, please explain. If you have diabetes, hypertension, cardiac problems, could include it here. Do you have any other commitments that may affect your ability to attend our training and eventually work? So guys, I suggest if you have a day job, um, you really consider if you want to have um, a night part-time job or a full-time healthcare virtual assistant job because it's going to be a night shift and uh, I don't know. I'm full-time so and I still have problems with sleeping so <laughs> it's up to you if you can handle it. Uh, and do you have any travel plans within the year? Do you have any visa applications? Um, if yes, explain in detail. Um, are you pregnant? You should take yes or no. Please upload your valid NBI clearance. Um, for this, just upload your NBI clearance. Um, if you don't have an NBI clearance, I think you can um, get through with it with a screenshot of your appointment. NBI clearance appointment. Um, then your diploma, other certifications, or your TOR, and then a, a valid government ID, your passport, your driver's license, um, SSS, GSIS, IDs, UMID. Please upload a one-minute intro video describing yourself. Um, if you need help with an introduction, your introduction video, I have a separate video for that. You could go ahead and check me reacting on my application introduction video and my client introduction video um, but now in my Google Drive what you're gonna do is for example this is your video go ahead here for more actions 
and then click share okay so you click get link and then make sure that this is set to anyone with the link and then me for i don't know oc purposes <laughs> i allow them to edit my file and then done and then you copy the link and then you paste it in this side of the form um please run an internet speed test and post the results here so what i do is i highlight this um url and then right click go to the speedtest.net and then here just click go then you will be able to assess your internet speed so we're just gonna go and wait for it to finish And my upload speed is 261. And uh, now you go to the address bar and then just copy and paste it here. So again, minimum of 10 Mbps and yeah, minimum of an upload of 10 Mbps and a download of 10 Mbps. And then for the typing test, again, I would highlight this link and then go to the link and Okay, let's do a typing test real quick right now. Okay, good. And for example, your typing speed is 57 words per minute. You just go ahead and copy the address here and then you paste it here so how did you hear about us you can put my name fab Lagas, in this portion of the um, application form so that they would know that they're aspiring hva is on youtube and just click submit application and then you're done i guess that's it guys thank you for watching this video hope that you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any future videos about Hellraish. If you do have questions, you could go ahead and comment down in the comment section below. Uh, I would respond as soon as possible. And um, if you have suggestions for future videos, I can also um, read that from the comment section below. Yeah, I'm so thankful that there are people who are inspired by my videos. Um, thank you for letting me know about that. And I'm just here to help you guys to be to also be a healthcare virtual assistant that I think it will greatly help you with um, your income and spending more time with your family. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching until this part of the video. Hope to see you on the next one. Stay fabulously brave and beautiful.